Hi there, I got this box from AC Delivery and it contains some of these um, MT3608 um, the component is called MT3608 boost converters which are for stepping up the voltage of a DC source So this is very exciting. If I can open this thing or not, let's see. So let's zoom in on that thing. On the right you see voltage in minus and voltage in plus. That's where we put our DC voltage and uh, at the left you see the V out plus and V out minus and that's where our higher voltage comes out. That's when we have stepped up the voltage. And now we connect up the input minus with the black alligator clip and the input plus with the red alligator clip. And I have two of these 1.5 volt batteries, which we'll use as a voltage source. And this is the casing for the two batteries, so they'll be in series and thus produce around 3 volt together. From these two contacts, we will take the input to our component. Here we have our multimeter and let's measure the voltage and it is 3 volts. And we have connected our input alligator clip still to the MT3608 and now we're going to connect the other end of the alligator clips to the voltage source. So our input has then the 3.2 volts that we see. So while you are watching me having a little trouble um, putting the thing on the desk, let's measure the voltage and it is, the output voltage is th around 3 volt also. So we've seen we've got input voltage of 3 volt and output voltage of 3 volt. The thing, the MT3608, it does nothing at the moment. But now things get interesting. We take a screwdriver and turn the screw on the side and with this screw you increase the voltage, which means boost the voltage. And then once you have turned it, screw it back, then you again decrease the voltage. But you can never go lower then the input voltage is now around 3 volts. You can only go higher, so let's try that. It's still around 3 volts, so the turning didn't suffice. So let's see what the data sheet says. And as you can read easily here, the output voltage trimmer is pointed to with an arrow, and it says as a note. Output voltage trimmer adjusts voltage after 20 laps of screw turning. So I just didn't uh, turn it enough. And then we read first, if you want to have a buck uh, effect, it's, so you turn clockwise. Buck means stepping the voltage down, so lower. But if you want to have a boost effect, so stepping the voltage up, you turn counterclockwise. So we have to now turn at least 20 laps counterclockwise to get an effect. Let's do that. So, and if you will stay with me for these 20 turns, I really appreciate it. So let's measure this. It's not in the range. Our 
Ah, uh, it's 28 volts. Quite insane, isn't it? 28 volts out of 3 volts from two 1.5 batteries. 28 volts. I'm amazed. So if we have the look at another part of the data sheet again, now we can see that we can input 2 volts to 24 volts. We just did 3 volts input. And in the one, two, three, four, five, six line, it says it has up to 28 volt output voltage. And we just maxed that out by turning the screw a very lot. And next we'll turn the screw down. Um, so clockwise, so get down to around 10 volt, just to show you that you can have any output voltage um, of the between the input voltage, 3 volt, and the 28 volt. And we're going to generate the around 10 volt now just for as an example and now for this last part of this video i have to confess i turned the screw without you i'm so sorry but at least you'll see we have 10 volts here and that concludes the video we made 28 volts out of uh, 3 volts and then made 10 volts out of 3 volts thank you and goodbye oh uh, yeah um the like button you know and uh, if you want to subscribe stuff uh, yeah thanks